Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and another episode 4 of our motorcycle adventure through British Columbia and in this episode we have started at Nkwala recreational site then traveled through Aspen Grove through Princeton British Columbia and then headed to Manning Park hoping to hit gravel road to the top of the mountain. Unfortunately, it was closed because of COVID-19, so we had to turn around back to Princeton and headed east to Stemwinder Provincial Park for the night. After a good night of sleep, we woke up to heavy rain and headed to Pentington, British Columbia, as we had encountered some problems on the road. We needed the new tires for the BMW R1200RT and a new battery for Bogdan on the Harley. Meanwhile, while we are there, we had a lot of coffee at Tim Hortons and breakfast. Then we headed back on the road around the lake in Pentington. From there through Osoyoos towards Kettle River recreational area for another night. It was pretty rainy day and we had so many unexpected repairs to take care of while we were in Pentington. <laughs> hey, with that food. And this is one of our boys sleeping. It can be here a mile away. Trzeba udokumentować. A, bo nikt się wierzy, że tyle kilometrów przejechałem, no a jednym tam co wadzi. 202 mile. Tu masz tę dziurę na tym? To jest dwa eagles. Białe orły. No, to są American. Thank you. 
that's a day four of the adventure. The boys are still going strong. Five, day five of the adventure. The Sleeping Beauty. Passing through Princeton, stock up a little bit of ram for the night, and heading to another mountain park. We have another about 160 kilometers to go. It was pouring heavy at night, very good rain and uh, driving in yesterday to the recreation site that we picked on the way. But in the morning we woke up and the sun was shining and we continued the trip. Beautiful sceneries around here. the bottom. Today's plans went down the drain. The road that we were planning to get on to the top of the uh, Noming Park uh, was closed. And we are actually heading back uh, towards Osoyoos right now and Keremios, well, Keremios first and then uh, Osoyoos in uh, British Columbia. Uh, well, we had a good adventure going up and down the hill. But unfortunately, the last stretch that uh, our goal for that, that was our goal for today, that did not work out. That's the way it goes. But darn COVID, there's a lot of restrictions. Uh, a lot of places are still closed. That does not make it any good. But the twisties on this road are amazing. So at this point, uh, we have uh, 82 kilometers left uh, to our final destinations for today. And uh, we will be looking for a campsite for a night or maybe one of those um, recreational sites, uh, which are not actual campsites, uh, but uh, you can camp on it. Uh, there's, uh, Disney have a picnic table 
that makes it life a bit easier. Just had a meal. Uh, we cooked uh, some meal today and uh, just uh, 40 minutes ago or so. And uh, I had chili. The boys had stew, ciabatta bread, and that should last till the evening before we're gonna crack open another bottle of rum. And the twisties continue. There's probably a few more before we get down. That corner is in pretty rough shape. A lot of trucks go through that road towards Vancouver, I guess. And we've seen some mining also along the way, so there's probably trucks running back and forth here. Mind you, dog, not too many on the road itself. Uh, we've seen a few, but not that many. Camping! I don't know. So there our first problem on this trip. My buddy with the R with the RT, he has a tire that has to be replaced. So now uh, tomorrow morning probably it's gonna be a search for a new tire. He cannot go much further on that thing because uh, the wires already are sticking out of it. So yeah, we checked already one campsite and uh, she recommend actually let, to go a little bit further, uh, about 11 kilometers to see another provincial campground. Uh, apparently it's a little bit further away from the highway. I'm not impressed to sleep by the busy highway. So that's a good choice for us and we can check that out. She gave us a couple of suggestions for the campsites what we can choose so yeah pretty soon it's gonna be another day Bogdan so it's a recreational site huh ona mówi że tamten i tak 5 dolarów tańsze a tamten kosztował 23 chyba Tam będzie drzewo, a tu drzewa nie będzie. To jest to samo, ale myślałem, że tak jak w poprzedniu też pozbieraliśmy. No to doesn't matter to me, jak chcecie. A i ile kosztuje ten? Eee, 15 dolarów. Tam to będzie 18. Ja. No a drzewo jest ekstra, nie? Tylko to możemy na, na jednym stajcie się do wszyscy, a tam nie wiem, czy tam pozwolić. Pozwól! Przejedziemy, zobaczymy jak to wygląda. Hello, how are you?
morning everyone this is the day six of the adventure and we're heading to Osoyoz right now we have to change the plans again that's the way adventure goes and uh, we gotta take care of a couple issues that we run into uh, one of the guys on here on the Harley in front of me he's got a battery issue the, like in the cold morning it doesn't want to start so he has to take his bike to the shop and then the, my buddy on the 1200RT, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, he has uh, tire issues. So we have to replace the tires on his motorcycle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head out to head out down to Osoyas, uh, British Columbia. And uh, we're gonna have a breakfast and coffee while the other guys are taking care of uh, their things. As you see, the weather is not the best. Uh, overnight, we, it was fine, uh, a bit on the cool side, but uh, the rain started coming down this morning. So there we go, we have some bike maintenance going here, batteries are changed, we have new tires happening. And those are Shinkos. So now we converted RT into adventure bike. <laughs> So now we're heading from Penktington, British Columbia to Osayas, uh, along the lake and uh, the bikes are fixed up. We woke up early this morning and uh, basically just starting riding. Huge waste of time. Unfortunately it is what it is, not much we can do. So the Okanagan is famous for, for growing the fruits like apples, peach and also the veggies at the same time. So there's a lot of uh, wineries as well in this area. So it's pretty famous in Canada for pretty much all the produce. And wine is a huge industry in here. As you can see, there's plantain, plantations everywhere. Okanagan has its own like a microclimate. So it gets pretty hot here. It's almost like a, some sections are like a desert. kinds of fruit everywhere. There's some cherries. It would be nice to be here a bit later in the season to munch on some fresh, fresh fruits. There's a lot of uh, fruit stands along the way here. We've been here once camping uh, in July and uh, the peaches were just amazing. Oh, look at those cherries, they're almost, they're almost good to go. So we're going to Osoyos the hard way, which is not a regular highway, it's just a bunch of side roads. Most of those trees and plantations is owned by the people from India. It looks like they took over this region of Canada. Wherever you look, there's something growing. Cherries again on the left. That looks like it's grapes, so which is wine. So we are approaching a soyuz right now. We just stopped to get some fresh apples. And uh, the highway that can be seen 
on top of that hill on the left side there. That's the uh, way probably we're gonna get out of there. It's pretty cool. Grab a bite and go! So we left the Soyuz this afternoon after having a bite to eat and we headed to Kettle Rock for, uh, for a night. So we should be there, according to the GPS, we got another seven kilometers to go. A few nice twisty roads on the way. Staying away from the rain so far, we had for some pretty heavy rain this morning, that's just about that. And a uh, few issues, as I mentioned before, they all squared out now. And it's gonna be another day, a fun night, and uh, time to crack another bottle of rum. Keep up the routine after a day of riding. Yeah, that's the way. Huh? Two try. It looks like some people are camping. There's people everywhere. COVID doesn't scare anyone. And let's see if somebody's on duty.
辺りがめっちゃ帰りやんけんでやったけどおもしろい